Hi there, I'm Peter Capelhorn, I'm Technical Director from Scott Brownrigg. We're here at Langley Free School to have a look at how refurbished buildings work in a free school environment. Hi, I'm Jane Scolfer, I'm the head of um, Langley Hall Primary Academy. Uh, we're in the head teacher's office and we're right in the middle of Langley, Berkshire. So it's a free school, uh, we opened in September and there are 182 children on roll and their ages range from 4 to 11 years. We are completely full and we have a waiting list for every year group. Interserve uh, was the company that helped us build the school and it was an incredibly tight uh, window to get it from uh, an office block as it was into a busy, buzzy, thriving school that it is today. When you approach the building, it's got a very nice aspect. Immediately you've got a, a feeling that the building is, is homely, um, it's got a nice feeling of scale. It gives you a really nice start to the building. And then you look at what's been achieved and you've really got to marvel at the amount that has been done in the short uh, programme time that's been available. And there's another really good example of taking a building that has a certain amount of character and reinvigorating it into a new use, using the spaces properly, uh, using the best attributes, but also adding a few more bits of character, a few more interesting uh, quirks that all seem to work from an educational point of view. Hi there, my name is Daniel Breen, I'm project manager at Interserve Construction um, and I'm with Jane Scolfer here who's headmistress of Langley Hall Academy. Um, this project um, is a three phase project over three summers. Um, this was the first phase which is the inception, it created this new school which was a very tight program um, to do all the work we did. Well, I think we worked very well together. Um, we were understanding of each other's uh, deadlines mm -hmm. that we had to, to meet and there were times when we were all working in a very sort of like close space. Mm -hmm. So we had staff on board, Dan had his team on board but we were able to respect each other's boundaries and get the jobs done. It just comes down to planning, it's a simple thing, you've got to, you've got to spend a lot of time on your programme. Um, it's a communication with your team, um, with subcontractors, your supply chain, bringing them in early, talking to them, making sure they know exactly what they're doing. So when they do actually arrive on site, it's hit the mm. ground running. And it's just that working on your feet, working with mm. Jane, working with the, the end users here, understanding what they want out of it, mm. while controlling our budget and, and time frame and, and making sure that we can get to that deadline date when the school opens and 182 children come through that front door and make sure it's a safe environment for them to learn in. I think it's um, sympathetic renovations within the keeping of the building. It was dead office space and I think that it's difficult to visualise that now because the, the school's got new life but it's um, complementary to the character that exists in the building. It's got a fantastic atmosphere, really warm building, remarked on by people who come in. We've been here three and a half weeks. We feel that we've been here a lot longer because when a school is up and running and the children are settled, then it just becomes um, sort of like a daily occurrence. They come to school and they do what they normally would do. We were coming from uh, a clear vision and an ethos and a philosophy in education that we believed in and that we wanted to put into practice. And to do that, we needed a building that worked. And, and that's what we've got. And, and we got it to open when a school needs to open, which is at the beginning of September. So we, we, we were very successful from that point of view, but it was um, definitely a team effort. This is actually going to be a very good seat of learning. It's going to be a, a great asset for the teachers and it's actually going to hopefully deliver some really good education. We're looking here at a very, very short um, programme to do a lot of work and to do a lot of work on an existing building. And existing buildings are notoriously difficult because when you start you don't quite know what the whole picture is going to be. 
as you get through the works, you uncover different things that you have got to address. And they can take your mind off the ball, they can change the budget, they can change how you're going to approach stuff. So some of it has got to be a little bit of make it up as you go along. But you've got to have in mind the overall budget, the overall time frame, uh, and the overall end result that you want to try and achieve. You know? And on balance, looking at it, I think that we've got a very good example here.